What's the word, people? It's your boy, Gemini A9 Boy, here with the Sunset Overdrive review. And, you know, I got this game for free on Xbox One, and, well, it's a great game. I'm fucked up, homie, you fucked up, but if God got us, then we gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. Hey, who's this? Our new partner. Well, alright. My name's Floyd. Story. Sunset Overdrive story starts your creative character in a orange soda zombie apocalypse. So basically, everyone drank this type of energy soda to turn these all to these little zombie creatures called ODs. So, yeah, basically, your character meets up with some other survivors, stuff, does missions, tries to build things to get out of the city. And yeah, it's a pretty simple story, you know, just trying to get out of the cities. Not much deeper than that. Yeah. Um. Next, Gameplay Sunset Overdrive is a third person open world shooter where you will be using the environment to get around the area. You will be either bouncing off cars or grinding on railways or trucks or skating on water. All while you will be blowing up OD with your wacky arsenal which is pretty huge and you can you know, customize these weapons or upgrade into how you see fit. Now as far as missions go, you will be doing different types of missions from various fashion. They will either have you defend an objective or having you go around to find somebody and you know you get to upgrade stuff like dude style points which cause like crazy things to go on around in the area which I thought was pretty cool I you know I enjoyed it likes two of my favorite things that I loved about Sunset Overdrive was one how stylish the game is I love swinging on the rails and you know like swinging on them pulling the shotgun out and blowing the enemy away and I also love how when you die you don't have to start the whole mission over this game has an awesome difficulty pacing it's not too hard but it's not too easy as well when you die you don't have to start the whole mission over it just picks up from where you left off I also love how colorful the game is it has a nice little art style and you know it's just appealing to the eye Dislikes. A couple of things I really didn't like about Sunset Overdrive. This game has a nice little handful of defending objective missions. And y'all know damn well in video games I hate protecting shit. Also, this game has like this little co-op mode, which from what I thought you could play the whole story mode together with a couple of people, but turns out no, it's just doing a bunch of random missions, which I thought was really stupid. I really wish they would have did an actual co-op story mode. That would have been great. Verdict. In my opinion, Sunset Overdrive deserves a 10 out of 10. Now, I know some people are going to be like, damn, J Money, you throwing out 10 out of 10s. Understand this, Sunset Overdrive is one of the few games that I enjoyed that I didn't get frustrated with at all. Now, would I recommend you pick this up at full price? Hell yeah, matter of fact, you should definitely get it now on Xbox One while you can because it's going to be free until May 1st, so you uh, better cop this right now. But even when it's not free, it's like $40, but I still think it's a reasonable price for this masterpiece of a game i really hope microsoft is in development for a sunset overdrive too i mean <laughs> this game was awesome i wouldn't mind seeing the sequel but i'll wrap this up this be your boy gentlemen a9 boy i'll see you guys tomorrow with naruto i'm out this bitch peace okay now love to all the teachers that said i wouldn't be shit love to local rappers that said i wouldn't be shit love to all the girls that took my kindness for a weakness i made it through the pain all of y'all deserve to see this just to